Hi, I'm Raphael, and this is The Natural Origins of Food. There's a lot of misinformation and confusion out there about where food comes from, so I'm here to help. Today's episode is special because I really like fall. I mean, like, I like, like fall. Like, more than a friend. I love pumpkins of all shapes and sizes. Oh my god, do I love pumpkins. And if you hate pumpkins, I will squash you. What's not to love? They have so many uses. They can be made into delicious soups and pies, and they'll even protect you when you look at Endermen. And most famously, they can be made into delicious, ubiquitous pumpkin spice, which is what we're talking about today. Despite its massive surge in popularity in the recent decade, Pumpkin spice has been around for a long time. It was first traded centuries ago on the Silk Road. No, the other one. The phrase variety is the spice of life is actually shortened from its original form. Variety is the spice of life, but pumpkin spice is all you really need. Starbucks popularized the pumpkin spice latte years ago, and many other companies followed suit with their own pumpkin spiced products. Recently, a malicious myth spread around the net that pumpkin spice doesn't even contain pumpkin. Ha! <laughs> Preposterous. This, of course, is absurd. Since when would people ever name anything incorrectly? In 2015, Starbucks put an end to this ridiculous rumor by confirming that pumpkin spice lattes they served indeed contained real pumpkin. If you've ever made a jack-o'-lantern, you know that when you cut into a pumpkin, it's hollow with seeds and pulp sticking to the flesh, but a pumpkin isn't empty though. It's filled with gases like carbon dioxide, oxygen, nitrogen, and water vapor, similar to the gases in our atmosphere, but in different composition. A study in 1942 by R.C. Nelson discovered that the gas composition in pumpkins can vary by pumpkin species, age, and even the wax coating on their surface. Here, let me show you. See, you got little gaps right there. You know, I've always been curious what raw pumpkin tasted like. No, don't do that. Here we have a cinnamon sugar pumpkin. They're not as common as regular sugar pumpkins, but you should be able to find one at your local farmer's market. Now let's cut this open and get some delicious pumpkin spice. Here we go. Harder than I expected. Wow, that's so awesome. Oh my god, mmm, it's really, really aromatic. Let's try some. Mmm, it's really good. Really better fresh than store-bought. I highly recommend getting it fresh if you have the time and budget. So I just got a plate and kind of emptied the pumpkin spice out of this half. You can see I got some seeds in there that you have to filter out. Let me just get this half, get some of that out there. Oh yeah, this is a good one. This is a good harvest. Oh yeah. Definitely going into some of my lattes. That's awesome. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and share it and subscribe to my channel for more. And let me know what you want to learn about next time in the comments. Remember, if it isn't witchcraft or sorcery, it's natural. Enough said.